What's going on guys? Here to talk about the stages of the impending housing crisis. First stage is going on right now. So let me go ahead and give you the classification. First stage, forbearance issue. If you enter into the government forbearance plan, you can't sell your house. You cannot refinance your house. You cannot do a HELOC. And this is starting to create a lot of problems for people because people are trying to buy houses of people who took the forbearance and the mortgage lender is saying, yeah, you gotta pay up all of the money that you owe before we're going to release this house for you to resell. This is the first step in the impending housing crisis. Cause once again, as this starts to filter out, cause many people just signed up for the forbearance. It was like, I don't have to pay my mortgage for six months to a year. I don't have to worry about it. They ain't gonna foreclose me. And they went in and did that without reading the fine print. This is one of the reasons that many people who were especially heavy in real estate did not take the forbearance because they knew the forbearance would be funky and cause problems for their future endeavors. But the average person was just heard free money. I don't have to pay my mortgage. I don't have to worry about it for the next six months to a year. And they signed up for it and they put their name on that dotted line. And this is going to create a lot of problems in the coming months. There are many people who are in forbearance. They realize that they're not going to be able to come up with the money because I don't care what kind of government legislation or program they come up with. At some point, you got to pay that money if you're a homeowner to the bank. And this is just the first leg of the impending housing crisis because as more and more of these people are sitting at home and they're getting months and months behind, they're six months behind on a house with a $1,200 mortgage, that's $14,000 in arrears. If you've got like a $2,500 mortgage, you're 30 to $40,000 behind. And the bank is just not going to eat that. There, there are many people who are talking about, well, what they're going to do is move these payments and modify the mortgage. Well, here's something that for the folks who think they're going to do this. Why does it take you so long to get a mortgage? The bank has to make sure that you're qualified for the mortgage. Since these people are behind, they're not going to be able to qualify for a new modification because they have not been making their mortgage payments. So all of you folks who think they're just gonna move these payments to the back and help these folks out, once a person is in that situation where they're not making their mortgage payments, they become unqualified for future modification. And remember 2008, they had modification programs, 4 million applied for the modification programs. Three to 4,000 people got the modification. This is a dangerous, dangerous bag of hornets that's growing and buzzing and it's gonna get big because many of the people who are in the forbearance process are going to lose their homes. It's gonna be the foreclosure, some kind of short sale or something like that. This is what's gonna happen. And this is just a first leg of the impending housing crisis that's going on right now. There are many people who read the fine print and understood that if they took those forbearance options, they were gonna limit their options in the future. And right now, 2021, if the government gets together and they put out a new CARES Act or something like that, and they provide additional forbearance, this is just going to create a larger pool of impending upcoming mortgage defaults. Let's go ahead and have this conversation. On my other channel, Savage Finance, I do personal finance education. The average person in America, 75% of America, cannot come up with $1,000 for a simple emergency cash money. 75% of America can't do that. How are these folks gonna come up with 10 to 20 to $30,000 to get their mortgage back in a compliance? This is a ticking time bomb. When they created the CARES Act and they created the EDIL loans, they created the PPP programs, they created all of this stuff, their intentions were good, but like I was saying in my videos that people were going to clown. The epic amount of fraud for the EDIL loans, the PPP program loans is massive. There's all kinds of scammers who are getting these loans, who are taking these loans. I was at the bank, talked to my banker. She was saying that people were opening up business accounts. A lot of people who did not have a business got these EDIL loans and these PPP loans in the Main Street Lending Program. They're trying to get money from that. We, we have a very big ticking time bomb. 
just depends upon what Congress does with Biden in office. Let me give you a prediction. If the Democrats can somehow elk out control of the Senate, you're going to see a massive, the mother of all stimulus packages roll out. And you're going to see something to help these beleaguered homeowners. If you go to the CoreLogic website, mortgage delinquencies at their highest rate in 20 years, which includes the last recession. I want you to understand that. So we have a incredibly large ticking time bomb in real estate, and it may not pop in 2021 due to the carnage that was caused by the closing down of the economy. And if you remember, I was telling you guys that the economy wasn't that strong to begin with. 2018, 2019, I was doing these recession talk videos and I was just telling you, and this is one of the reasons that so many businesses closed and many business owners, and I'm speaking to my business owners, many of you are not well capitalized. Many of you have not set up credit policies, banking policies, and got your QuickBooks set up and you have reserves. I'm in Sandy Springs, Georgia, a wealthy neighborhood, and there's a multitude of businesses that are closed around here that will never reopen again. If a lot of homeowners had read the fine print and realized that, hey, in the future, if you're in forbearance, you cannot sell your house until you catch up that forbearance and come out of forbearance. That's a big ticking time bomb. And this is one of the reasons that the housing supply is a short demand because some people realize there's so many things you cannot do when you are in forbearance because you've become an unqualified mortgage person. Fact check me if you want to and go ahead and debate in the comments, but I guarantee you that these mortgage companies are not going to move those payments to the end of the mortgage to help these unqualified, because essentially, if the person who was six months behind on their mortgage had to go out and get a new house, they wouldn't be able to qualify. So how are you gonna qualify for modification of your existing mortgage when you're already six months to 12 months behind? And here's the slippery slope. Once you get 12 months behind, it's gonna be a wrap for many, many people. And once this ticking time bomb goes boom, this is when you're gonna see real estate hitting the markets like crazy. You're gonna see short sales, you're gonna see distressed sales, you're gonna see foreclosures. And I predict it's gonna take three to five years for all of this to work its way through the system. So 2021 will be the year that it will start. Well, it started in 2020 because of what's going on with forbearance. But the year of 2022 is when the time bomb is gonna go boom. And then 2023, boom, boom. And 2024, boom, boom because it's gonna take about two to three years for all this stuff to work itself out. There are gonna be houses that are gonna be sitting empty. There's gonna be all types of issues. There's gonna be all kinds of crazy stuff that's going on. And if you are a cash money real estate buyer, your money is gonna be, be able to go really, really far because there are many people who are in the forbearance program that have equity in their house and they're not going to be able to extract that equity from a sale or a HELOC or refinancing. So you're going to be able as a cash money buyer to go in and steal that equity. Now this is going to be houses 350,000 and below. 350,000 and below is where most of America is. And this is where most of the deals are going to happen. Once you move up to 500,000, those buyers tend to be more qualified. They make more money. So it's not going to be a lot of movement in that department. Once again, I'm in the million dollar neighborhood and there's one, two, three, four. There's a mansion in the corner for sale that for 3 million that's been on the market a year. And there's another mansion close to it that's been on the market for like six months. And one of my neighbors that had a house for sale, they took it off the market. And this guy's had his house on the market for nine months. So the million dollar price point ain't moving that fast, but typically because the buyers are better qualified, they have more reserves. You're gonna see some movement in that price range. You're gonna see there's some people who've done something stupid that they got themselves in over their heads and there will be deals. There will be deals in every classification. It's just the majority of the deals are gonna be the houses 350,000 and below. That's where most of the action is gonna happen. 
That's where most of the juice is gonna happen. And that's the perfect rental market because many people who are in this forbearance thing who are now currently homeowners are going to become renters in the future because their credit's gonna be trashed. They may have lost their job. They may have lost their car. They got a repossession. They got a foreclosure on their credit report. Their credit life is going to be trashed for seven years unless they go out and get some credit repair and get that stuff removed. I'm here to tell you, if you want to do credit repair as a service, this will be a booming business in the coming months. It's already a booming business right now. So if you want to learn how to do credit repair, this is going to be an amazing opportunity service business for you to create and for you to generate wealth and income. Also, with this impending mortgage delinquency crisis that's going that's emerging as we speak, there's going to be a massive transfer of wealth. And essentially what's going to happen what has happened in all these economic boom and bust cycles. The rich will get richer. Recently, I went ahead and upgraded my Porsche to a brand new one. And the Porsche dealership was crowded. There was no Leroy's, Tyrone's, or your average Joe man up in the Porsche dealership. These were all well-qualified people making money to go out and buy this expensive little toy in the middle of a pandemic because they have cash money, good credit, they have reserves, they have investments. Let's talk about proximity. You need to put yourself in the proximity to take advantage of these opportunities because these opportunities and this massive transfer of wealth is going to miss most of America. Most of America is not in a position to capitalize because they don't have any capital. On my YouTube channel, Savage Finance, I talk about the things that you need to do to position yourself for proximity to be advantage to take advantage because like essentially i may go ahead and park my money in dividend stock for a year it really 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 depends on what's going to happen with congress what type of stimulus is going to happen so i'll report back on that when and if it happens because one of the things i want you guys to understand is if you got a hundred thousand dollars cash during this this mess up if you deploy it correctly you could turn that 100K into a million in the next two to three years. That's what's kind of opportunities is gonna be like 100K, 100K. You will be able to flip that 10X in this cycle, in this boom cycle, because this is where most of the money is made. People are on sale, assets are on sale, stocks are on sale, everything is on sale. It's a clearance sale for the wealthy. Like right now, you're like, hmm, let me see, do I wanna pick up these blue chip stocks on the cheap? Do I wanna pick up this investment property? Like right now, commercial real estate is in a tailspin. And if you want to get into commercial real estate, this is the perfect time to get into it because there are lenders, there are commercial real estate property owners who are gonna do some creative financing because they're in, you know, they need some cash flow. Like right now, during this time, if you know how commercial real estate works, you can go ahead and get an apartment building. You can go ahead and get a commercial office building on the cheap if you know how the game works and if you have marketing skills. Because what's the big issue with real estate? Like when I had my warehouse, essentially, you know, they'll advertise on Craigslist, but a lot of commercial real estate people don't really market their properties aggressive. They pull up a sign, they pull up some listing and they hope you come find them. So if you were able to go ahead and get an office building and start a marketing campaign on social media, get that bad boy full money, 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 money. I got a lot of ideals of stuff that I'm getting ready to do. I am getting ready to deploy some capital in many, many different things because I want to 10X my money during this thing. Instead of being a millionaire, I want to be worth 10, 15 million. And if I make the right moves in the next three to four years, that can happen. So if you got 100, 100K, you should be able to 10X that in the next three to four years. If you're sitting on the mill, you should be able to turn that to 10 to 15 mil in the next 10 to three to four years because the opportunities are gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be everywhere. But once again, you need to be in the market. You need to know what's going on. You need to be educating yourself on what's happening with real estate, what's happening with certain asset classes, because if you want to be part of this massive transfer of wealth, you need to be in the game. You need to be doing things. You need to understand what's going on. You need to know what's a good price, what's not a good price. During the last recession, there was a house 
on the street, and I was living in an apartment at the time. It was a house that was on the street. It, the house sold for 256, and I was like, that's a deal. If I had been thinking, I would have bought it because that same house now is worth 600,000. That house went on clearance sale. These deals are coming back for people who are in the market, who are hunting, who are looking, who are educating themselves, who know what's going on. These deals are going to be everywhere. But once again, just because it's a deal, if you're not well capitalized, you're not going to be in a position to take advantage of the deal. And this is everything. Like right now, there's so many businesses you can start. You can start a food truck. You can start a cleaning service. You can start a security agency. There's so many things that you can start, get going, start generating some cash flow and become rich. Even though that this ticking time bomb with the forbearance program is going to explode probably 2022 is my estimation. It may happen in 2021, it just really depends. So we have to see from a political calculation what's gonna happen with the stimulus, what they're gonna put in the next stimulus bill, and I'll rep be reporting on that. But one of the things that you got to understand and one of the things you've got to be aware of is if you are the average person, you ain't coming out as clean. If you're the average person who can't scratch up a thousand bucks for an emergency, this whole transfer of wealth is just going to it's, going, it's just gonna go over your head. So to help you guys out, go below and get 30 days to 2,500. Go below and get the Never Be Broke Action Packed course and go below and get the Hustler's Mindset Pimping Your Mind for Success. This is for my people who are broke. Once again, there will not be any support. I'm not gonna give you a course then get on the phone and talk with you on a free course. That's doing too much. And then for those of you who are ready to seriously level up in the next three years, go ahead and get into the corporate toolbox. I'm gonna teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to set up operating companies, teach you how to develop business credit, and more importantly, teach you how to start a business that can give you spendable cash, which is better than investments. I just spent 200K on cars this weekend, and I'm gonna have that 200K back next month. Why? Because I have a business that generates cash month after month after month. And once you get that cash, then you can take some of that cash and throw it off into investments and create some passive income for yourself. But once again, you need to develop the cash flow. So that's all I got for you guys. There will not be any uh, Black Friday sales or anything on the corporate toolbox. Sorry, they ain't happening. But I am gonna be creating some special offers, so be looking for this to drop probably the day at, on Black Friday. So I will be working on some stuff. I'll be sending out emails. So if you're not on the email list, go ahead and get 30 days to 2,500. The uh, Never Broke Action Pack. If it, that link's here, isn't here, it's gonna be on the latest video of Savage Finance. So with that, I'll see you guys later. See you in the next video.